Hello and welcome to this short video on how to identify and treat clothes moths on your teddy bear. Tyniola bisciliella, the clothes moth, is about six or seven millimetres long with a wingspan of about a centimetre and a half. She's running out of food supplies now because we've replaced so many natural fibres with synthetic materials that when she finds something she can eat she's going to be a problem for you. Also, our homes are too warm now and we're not allowing them to get cold enough to kill off the moths and larvae as they would have done in the past. Her life cycle is fascinating. The adult moth can lay up to 200 eggs and those eggs will hatch within about a week into near microscopic caterpillars so you're probably never going to notice them. You may notice the little cocoon like tube that they create and they'll drag themselves along on this um, and at night or in the dark they'll pop their heads out and they'll graze all around them. Once they've shed their skins probably about 25 times and they're big enough they'll weave a further cocoon and they will hatch into moths which don't eat and just live um, briefly for about a week or up to a month to lay the next batch of eggs. This is what the, um, the cases of the case moth, the, this clothes moth, look like and by accident or by nature's great miracle they quite often mimic the colours of the fabrics that they're on making them harder to see. What you won't miss will be the bold patches. On something with a fur like this they'll have nibbled away at the base of the fur so the fur will drop away and create lovely big bold patches which there's nothing you can really do about that once the fur has gone. On something like this an, a nice old wool felt they'll actually eat away at the fabric itself. So this one here has nibbled away at the fabric. This old fella actually has evidence of the cases still on him. So they're old and dead cases, so they're very pale and very easy to identify. That's an, an empty case there. The other telltale sign is moth dirt. And this is a gritty substance that you'll find actually on the fabric. If I pick him up and give him a gentle shake, there'll be a sand-like substance and little bits of, of fur that fall away and that's actually moth poo. So apart from a good clean, he's definitely going to need to go into quarantine even though I'm pretty sure the moths have gone, it's just not worth taking a chance. I don't like using harsh chemicals so pop a pillowcase over the end of your hoover, give them a good hoover give them a good brush, you're probably going to lose the rest of the fur here if it's a case that's this bad. Unfortunately freezing is not going to kill the eggs because our domestic freezers don't get cold enough but it will kill the larva and the moths. If it's a desperate case we will occasionally use this method of a plastic airtight tub with a cloth or wadding with a moth killer in the bottom, pop a plastic tray or something with holes in it on top of there so the air can circulate, pop the patients inside and seal the container for 48 hours and that's going to get rid of everything that's on there. That concludes our tutorial video. I hope it's been helpful. If it has, please subscribe. We'd love your feedback and a like. There are more videos coming soon.